This is a review of the Milwaukee M18 Compact Vacuum Model 0882-20. It's a handheld shop vac for small jobs and quick pickups. Now, I'm just gonna say it, I'm a sucker for vacuums. I have multiple vacs in my shop and every floor of our house has a handheld canister and or robotic vacuum. So I guess all that is to say that I have some experience at sucking. Wait, maybe I should have said cleaner, but who doesn't like a clean house? Here are the top five things I like about this tool. Number one, this little sucker, which is made of ABS plastic, is pretty versatile. It can be used as a traditional handheld vac, a floor vac, or even a stationary vac since it has this handy trigger lock on the handle. So whether it's dust monkeys in the refrigerator's condenser coils, cat hair, cat litter, dusty hardwood floors, whether it's in the house, the workshop, a job site, my car, my other half's car, or some project in between, this thing comes in handy. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll likely have noticed it somewhere in the background. The suction's really good, best in class if you ask Milwaukee, right. and it's rated 40 CFM, that's cubic feet per minute. Although comparing vacuums based only on the velocity at which air flows can be misleading, so I'm not even gonna attempt it. Getting into airflow, suction, air watts, and efficiency go way beyond the scope of this video. Number two, given it has a HEPA filter, this vacuum can handle drywall dust, sawdust, concrete dust, metal shaving, cat litter, and other small debris without exhausting it back into the room. Having said that, if you're frequently vacuuming around materials that present a health hazard, for example, crystalline silica dust present in concrete, bricks, and drywall, you should just take precautions because while small particles may not come out of the vacuum's exhaust, the exhaust itself can move airborne particles around the room. So always wear a mask in those situations. And speaking of dusty jobs, the vac connects to the one and a quarter inch dust port of the M18 orbital sander. Kind of. Uh, awkward. And I connect it to my DeWalt sander using this rubber pipe coupler. Oh yeah. Excellent. Number three, charge time versus runtime is very good and even better if you have a rapid or supercharger. Oh. With an XC five amp hour battery, the tool will run for nearly 25 minutes. If you're already invested in the M18 platform, then you may have enough batteries for days, so it won't matter. But either way, I'm really pleased runtime is significantly more than other handheld vacuums like my Dyson's. Those things frustrate me. <laughs> they only run for six minutes on high and then take like three hours to charge. Why? However, unlike the Dyson's six minute sprint when it's on high, the Milwaukee suction does start to decrease with battery power and also if the canister and filter start to fill up. Here, have a listen. Number four. At 40 CFM, suction is very good and it's even better when you're using the crevice tool. Whether I'm cleaning the car, workshop, cat litter, or using it with my orbital sander, suction is strong. Assuming again, the filter's relatively clean and the canister isn't full. Number five, at $119, which is what I paid for the bare tool at my local Home Depot about a year and a half ago, and recently I've seen it for $139, it's a good value in my opinion. The vacuum comes in various kits, for example, with an XC5 amp hour battery and charger, I think it's like 289. Also you can get it with a, a compact three amp hour high output battery and charger for 269. So it's less expensive and more versatile than any of my, oh, am I gonna say it again? Yeah. Uh -huh. Dyson's, I couldn't help myself. I have a love hate relationship with the Dyson's. Just keep in mind though, if you get a kit with a high output battery, the suction is no different whether you're using a regular battery or a high output battery. It's not like the fuel sawzall. Now for the top five things I'm not so crazy about. No. Number one. The tool's a little bulky compared to a residential handheld vac and weighs 4.3 pounds without a battery or attachments. Used with an XC5 or XC6 high output battery, the tool can feel heavy after a few minutes. That is, unless I'm using it with the floor attachment. Number two. I think Milwaukee could have made this tool better by either adding a low mode to extend battery life or even better, a boost mode similar to the Gen 2 Milwaukee M18 blower. I really like the boost mode on our Dyson handhelds, although those things bonk out as the battery gets older. Wow, I feel like this is also a Dyson review. Number three, this fact is a little loud, especially in the high frequencies, but this isn't unique um, to this vacuum. It's common for small fan motors. Here, check it out. Number four, I'll briefly touch upon some of Milwaukee's trade-specific attachments later, but I have to say I'm surprised this thing didn't come with a brush attachment. 
and currently there isn't one sold separately, or at least not that I've found. Luckily, I have so many vacuums, I was able to find a, a few brush attachments that work with the one and a quarter inch inlet diameter. The inner diameter is seven eighths of an inch, but why? I occasionally use this rigid brush attachment, kind of works if I use duct tape. A few other things worth noting regarding attachments are the floor attachment is only five inches, which makes sense given the attachment wands are only one and a quarter inches. So just don't expect to pick up too much sizable debris, like planed wood shavings. Nope. Ha! Huh. Number five. If you've read the reviews, you may have heard about an issue with the switch. It's a real problem. Sometimes I'll be vacuuming and the thing unexpectedly bonks out. I don't even know if that's a word. Bonks out. Shuts off. Press the switch and nothing. If I wait 10 seconds or do a battery pull, it's always worked again. However, not cool in Milwaukee, so I'm thankful the tool comes with Milwaukee's standard five-year tool warranty. A few things worth pointing out, it's a dry vac only. If you accidentally pick up anything wet, be sure to remove the filter and dry everything out to avoid a moldy filter. I sucked up a wet debris in my rigid shop vac and forgot to empty it. Man, it was a stinky, moldy mess. If you want a wet dry vac, check out some of the other vacuums in the M18 series, for example, the 0880-20 canister, 0970-20 packout, and the 0885-20 backpack vac. What else? Oh, the HEPA filter is not washable. However, you can remove it and shake it out. You may want to wear a mask for that. The HEPA filter is model 49-90-1951, which isn't mentioned in the manual, but they're affordable in a two or four pack if you can find them. Home Depot was carrying them, then they weren't, they went out of stock, they disappeared, now they're back, but there are less expensive non-OEM options on Amazon. I found the non-OEM work just fine. And just briefly, Milwaukee has come out with a bunch of new shop vac attachments that will connect to one and a quarter inch, one and seven eighths of an inch, and two and a half inch hoses, but most don't work well with this vac because it just doesn't have enough power. For example, the magnetic floor attachment, which prevents nails and screws from being sucked up, it doesn't work that well. You really need something with a five or more horsepower motor. To wrap up, if you want a versatile vacuum to pick up small dry debris, whether it's on the job site or just around the house, this Milwaukee M18 Compact is a decent option. It has good suction, decent runtime, and overall it's a good value. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, hit that like button as if you emptied your canister vac, but it wasn't completely over the garbage can, and subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching. Did you hit that subscribe button? Turn on the notifications bell? Of course you have, because you know that I try not to leave my subscribers hanging. If I've reviewed a product and subsequently had an issue with it, you know I'll try to post a follow-up with some solutions or at least give you some troubleshooting tips. All right, until next time. So I guess all that is to say that I have some experience in sucking. Hey, maybe I should have said cleaning.